G'day, Anders Sorma Nielsen here from the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia, where I've just been hanging out as the futurist in residence, uh, working with the Gold Coast City Council as well as their affiliated uh, business members on really helping them think about the future and the repositioning of the Gold Coast. Uh, this place really inspires me right now because the Gold Coast traditionally has been known for their meter maids, the uh, name of Surface Paradise, one of the uh, villages around the Gold Coast and of course also schoolies and all of the fun and nightlife that goes with these traditional ideas of fun and coming of age. But really what we discussed here at the Gold Coast was the importance of really owning your brand heritage. Now you may not think for a city that really wants to be known and to be taken seriously in a business context and for the startup and tech community that having the idea of meter maids, schoolies and surface paradise is really uh, kind of conducive to creating a, a great uh, global city of innovation, tech startups and co-working. But I'm sitting here at the QT Hotel, a great boutique hotel here in the Gold Coast and I cannot help but be being mesmerized by the energy of the local businessmen and women, uh, the council and the urban redevelopment that's going on and the fact that people are now taking ownership of things like the meter maids. Some people shy away from this sort of brand heritage or the equity of the meter maids. The history behind this is that uh, the Gold Coast City Council at one point in time instituted parking meters, but in order to counter this and ensure that business would go on as normal and people wouldn't get fines, uh, a smart businessman uh, back in the day on the Gold Coast made sure that meter maids would be filling up the parking meters for the people that were shopping in that particular district in the Gold Coast. Beyond the skimpily clad meter maids, I think the bigger sort of meta lesson here for Gold Coast's future is the fact that they've always been customer centric. They've always been a bit cheeky and even back then the Gold Coast City Council sort of saw between the fingers a little bit um, when it came to this uh, slightly outside of the legal norm of having meter maids putting dollars and coins into your parking meter so that you could get on and do business and go and shop with the local shopkeepers or go to the local restaurants. So this was the idea and I think that kind of sense of cheekiness, that creativity, that innovation is something that people should really adapt and really own. So own your brand heritage, uh, whether that be the Gold Coast, your city or your business. Make sure that you're not embarrassed about the past, but rather that you really own it. And you kind of see what the meta level implications of those old brand associations that we have might be. For the Gold Coast, it wasn't about skimpily clad meter maids, but rather about customer empathy, being cheeky, fun, creative, innovative. These are the kind of brand connotations that I would like to see uh, the Gold Coast really pushing into the future. Having been here and being the futurist in residence, we've thought about aspects like this, aspects that have really taken businesses from around Australia and uh, internationally as well to the Gold Coast. This has always been a great place to go for a conference, a convention, a place to have a strategic retreat. Uh, oftentimes some of Australia's and some of the world's largest businesses have come here and had conferences to get away and have thinking time, strategic time. So why couldn't you have that all of the time? Why couldn't you mix uh, a great surf in some of the best beaches in the world, in some of the best surf breaks in the world, have that in the morning, then lunch with a venture capitalist, and then great thinking time with your team on the beach or in one of the fantastic co-working spaces that are in the CBD in Southport. These are just some of my reflections here as I've been hanging out with the Gold Coast City Council and their members, looking at the future vision, the 2023 vision and the strategy paper that is in place right now to really drive the sort of nine and 10 year horizon for the Gold Coast and its repositioning for the future. The lesson for you today is to think about what are the historical brand associations that you have around your business or your city and think about how can you really own them but at the same time invest in your future. What are the bigger lessons around your brand associations that you can take with you to ensure that your future positioning is really supported by your history 
as well. That's today's lesson and that's the way to think about your future positioning.